हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम बैक टू माय न्यू वीडियो सेशन वेयर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस कांसेप्ट ऑफ मार्केट एंड इट्स डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स सो विदाउट मेकिंग एनी डिले लेट अस बिगिन ऑर्डिनरीली द टर्म मार्केट रेफर्स टू ए पर्टिकुलर प्लेस वेयर गुड्स आर परचेज्ड एंड सोल्ड बट in economics market is is used in wide perspective in economics the term uh, market does not mean a particular place and the whole area where the buyers and the sellers of a product are spread this is because in the present context the sale and purchase of goods are with the help of agents and distributors hence the sellers and buyers of a particular commodity are spread over a large area the transactions of commodities may be also through letters telegrams telephones internet etc etc thus uh, market in economics does not refer to a particular market place but the entire region in which goods are bought and sold in this transactions the price of a commodity is the same in the whole market now let me discuss or briefly mention some important prerequisites for formation of a market you can also call this conditions for market formation and uh, the conditions are first of all buyers buyers who expect in terms of in terms of satisfaction of want uh, or need referred to as utility next purchasing power purchasing power enables buyers to convert their wants uh, or needs into effective demand thirdly i would like to mention about the sellers sellers who expect the pay off uh, uh, firstly in terms of uh, revenue they need to cover their production for costs and secondly to generate a profit which is excess revenue over cost fourthly means of communication means of communication uh, between buyers and sellers so that preferences can be indicated and goods and services offer for sale in early market forms it was essential that buyers and sellers met or at least that uh, the representatives met however new technologies uh, have meant uh, that the buyers and the sellers no longer need to meet in the same physical space next i would like to mention about uh, knowledge uh, knowledge is balance between buyers and sellers so that uh, one party cannot persistently exploit the other party by withholding uh, relevant information markets can break down when information is not available to all parties next medium of exchange medium of exchange is important a medium of exchange is uh, to facilitate market transaction 
money or credit next the ability to pay at a later date which is also called deferred payment next uh, a legal system a legal system which enables both buyers and sellers uh, to be protected through civil law such as uh, contracts through criminal laws such as uh, laws against theft next uh, property rights in present context is also important property rights so that the individuals have the right to sell and buyers have the right to buy and uh, to own what they have bought in addition to that uh, markets require a financial system to enable individuals and firms to borrow if they need to and to save when they have surplus funds now i would like to discuss about the types or different forms of market but before i discuss different forms let me tell you one important thing and that is uh, market classification is done mainly on the basis of degree of competition in a market however uh, there are other determinants of market structure also such as uh, say nature of the goods and product number of sellers number of consumers the nature of the product or service economies of scale etc etc we will discuss uh, mainly the four basic types of market in present discussion one thing to remember is that uh, not all these types of market structures actually exist some of them are just theoretical concepts but they help us understand the principles behind the classification of market structure i would like to start with uh, uh, perfect competition or perfectly competitive market let us uh, first understand uh, the meaning of this type of market a market in which we find uh, perfect competition between buy large number of buyers and large number of sellers of a homogeneous product and uniform price is called perfect competition or perfectly competitive market in other words we can say in a perfectly competitive market all potential sellers and buyers are fully aware of the prices at which uh, transactions take place and all the offers met by them and any buyer can purchase any commodity from any of the sellers at the price quoted by them now what is monopolistic market economists found that perfect competition and a pure monopoly were were unrealistic market situation the actual market situation are so, is somewhere between between perfect competition and pure monopoly it is a market situation with some elements of competition and some elements of monopoly 
that is why it is termed as monopolistic competition or you can also say imperfect competition here firms producing differentiated products compete with each other for the sale of their products next uh, let us know what is oligopoly oligopoly is a market situation wherein the number of producers of the commodity is so small that every seller has a perceptible effect on others and influences the market the last one is monopoly the market form of monopoly is the opposite extreme from that of perfect competition it exists whenever an industry is in the hand of uh, a single producer monopoly is made of two words mono plus poly here mono means one and poly means seller thereby uh, the literal meaning uh, the, of the word monopoly is one seller or one producer in my next upcoming videos one by one i will discuss about uh, different forms of market in more details please feel free to send your questions or queries to my email id your questions were are most welcome thank you